So I've managed to get the day off work today and we've headed down to Todbur Manor. I'm here with Diwa doing some filming of some new products today. We were hoping to get on Big Haze or Little Haze but they're actually fully booked. So we've ended up on Wadmill where we have seen a few fish showing so it does look good. The new products we are focusing on is the Black Widow XT rods so let's take a look at them. To start with, what's in the range? Well there's going to be 10, 12, 13 foot rods, a spod rod and even a fully telescopic rod available. Amongst those there'll be some with 40mm ringing and some with 50mm ringing and a variation of test curves as well so you're going to be able to find something to suit whatever type of fishing you do. So we've just repositioned one of the rods really tight to the island and it's been out there probably 10 minutes and it's gone off. Luckily, it, I am using this stronger rod, but I'm really glad I am because it was trying to get around the back of the island. And this has helped me hold the fish away and hopefully we'll get it in the net. There we go, first one of the day. I just repositioned the rod really tight to the island and it went off after about 15 minutes. I was really glad I actually had the three and a half pound Tesco rod because the fish tried its absolute best to get around the back of the island. But the strong rod meant that I kept it away from that and sure enough, got it in the net. So probably a mid high double. So we'll get this one back and see if we can get another one. So let's take a look at some of the features. Well, to begin with, all the rods in the range utilize a nice lightweight carbon blank in a matte finish. The 40mm and the 50mm ringing both utilise LS ceramic rings to aid with smooth casting. Moving down the rod we come to a nice comfortable screw in reel seat that's been finished in the black. A full shrink wrap handle and then a nice aluminium black butt cap. And really to complete the look there's some red detailing on the rods. In terms of my session today I've got a 12 foot 3.5 pound Tesco rod. As I mentioned earlier, we were hoping to fish one of the bigger lakes, but these will still work perfectly for what I'm doing now, because I'm still going to fish solid bags, and I'm also doing some snag fishing. Um, the reason that will work is if I'm using a two ounce lead, once I've made the bag up with the pellets, you're looking at three and a half to four ounces of casting weight there, so that rod will just be ideal for that. In terms of the snag fishing, having that nice strong backbone to the rod will help me pull the fish away from the reeds and get another fish on the bank. I've coupled the rods up today with the Black Widow 25A reels and that makes for a lovely affordable balanced setup that will cope with any fishing situation. If you're interested in the rods and want to find out more information check out the Daiwa Cart website or check out your local Daiwa stockist.